lecture uh, we have shown how the equivalence between the grammar and um, language uh, if a language is given to me how to convert it to grammar and if a grammar is given to me how to convert it to language now we will go to automata what is automata so automata is uh, basically a discrete form of any digital computer so we can say that an automata is an abstract model of a digital computer so what do you mean by the abstract model of a digital computer uh, if i consider any um, basic um, peripheral devices or a basic component of any digital computer which takes an input process the input and produce the output then it will be considered as an automaton and its plural form is called automata suppose i am giving one small basic diagram how automata actually works Suppose this is my control unit of the automata, this is my input file, one storage unit is there. And here this is my output now one basic uh, automaton that we want to create here I will use the term automaton not automata one basic automaton that I want to create um, uh, that uh, it will take the input uh, serially one by one and if the last four digit of the input is 0 1 0 1 that case the output will be shown as 1 otherwise the output will be shown as 0 that means if the last four digit of my uh, accepted input is um, 0 1 0 1 then the output is accepted otherwise it will be rejected now the stream of inputs that i am giving is suppose 0 0 1 1 0 1 0 1 0 then 1 now the first input it is taking that is 0 and whenever it is taking the input it will check that what is my last four digits now as i have taken only one input so i have i don't have any um, uh, concept of four digits uh, so the output that it will show that is 0 and then then it will, what it will do that it will change its uh, pointer from this position to this position and it will take the next input and when it takes the next input and it will again check that what is my next uh, last uh, last four digits so in this case also it will find out that it has only two digits and it will show the output again zero and uh, change its pointer change its pointer to this position now again this pointer will also get change its position and it will take the next input one and when it takes the next input one again the pointer position will get change and the storage value will be 1 and what is my last four digit last four digit is 1010 zero, 100 zero, one, zero, zero. so it will show the output again to 0 my next input is 1 again right my next input is 1 now it will store that input 1 over here and what is my last four digit my last four digit is 1100 zero, which is not matching with 0101 zero, one. again it will take the next input it will take the next input as 0 and store that 0 over here and it will check that what is my last four input and my last four input is 0110 one, zero. again it will show the output as 0 it will show the output as 0 now again the pointer will change its position and it will take the next input 
that is 1 and it will store that value 1 over here. Now it will change the pointer position also and my pointer position is at 1 and what is my last four input? My last four input is 1011. 1, 1. Again it will show the output as 0. Now what is my next input? My next input is 0. So the pointer position will get changed to the next input and it will show that input uh, um, show, uh, store it into the storage unit and uh, what is the last four input of my storage unit that is 0101 0, now it is matching and when it will match it will show the output 1 in this way it will continuously take the input and check with its control unit my control unit is saying that my storage uh, my last four input should be 0101 0, 1, and it will check with its last four input and if it matches then it will show the output 1 otherwise it will show the output 0. So, in this way it will work uh, uh, it will start working. Now, uh, the thing is that where we can implement uh, these types of automaton, you can implement any digital circuits, discrete components of a digital circuits. If I consider a simplest example of password checking or a uh, sequence uh, generation uh, sequence checking. So, in case of password checking also, the system is um, already predefined with some matching uh, in, uh, input, uh, matching password. Now, if I give the input, now immediately that input will be checked with that particular um, uh, matching value that is uh, already in, uh, um, given uh, within your system. If it matches, then it will show the output 1, otherwise it will show the output 0. Now, with that password checking concept, it is little bit different in that uh, way that uh, after getting the input uh, output 1 that means the last four input as 0 1 0 1. Now, if it gets again 0 1 that case it will uh, always uh, show you the output 1 that means it will never stopped its um, checking um, concept. So, um, uh, this is one of the simplest example of automaton. Now, if these types of automatons are combined together that large numbers of automaton this is one automaton this is another automaton all the automatons are combinedly creating one automata. Suppose in my motherboard I have large numbers of components each of the components has its own functionality each of the components are taking one input processing that input and showing the output. So, each of the uh, automaton combinedly it is creating that automata. Now, the automata can show you the output in two way their output can be shown in two way either it may be in the form of a number or um, uh, alphabets uh, like 0, 1, 2 like this or it can show the output in the form of a 0 or 1 accept or reject like this. So, if the output of an automata in the form of a number or a digits that case it is called a transducer and if the automata shows the output in the form of a 0 or 1 then it is called acceptor. Now, what is the example of a transducer? If I consider a sequence counter, in case of sequence counter the output will be shown in the form of a 0, 1, 2 like this may be it is odd, odd counter or maybe even counter in case of odd counter the output will be in the form of a 1, 3, 5, 7. If it is an even counter it will show the output like 0, 2, 4, 6, 8 like this. So, odd counter, even counter, sequence counter all are an example of a transducer where the output is shown in the form of a digits or numbers. Now, if the output is shown in the form of a 0 1 or 1 or accept or reject apart from accept and reject there is no other state that an automaton can show that case it is called an acceptor like a sequence generator that we have already discussed sequence generator that whatever example that we have shown. Now, the acceptor now already we got that automata is of two types one is acceptor another is transducer. Now, acceptor again of two types one is called deterministic finite acceptor
or DFA another is called non-deterministic finite acceptor or NFA sometimes it is also called NDFA. Now what is the difference between deterministic finite acceptor and non-deterministic finite acceptor? Deterministic finite acceptor is that basically what is our um, what is the main functions of an automata? It is taking an input, processing that input and showing the output. That means showing the output means it is reaching to some goals. Now if I know my goals and I also know how to reach my goals. That means with some definite fine numbers of steps I can reach to that goal then it is called DFA. Means I know my goal. and I also know how to reach the goal. But whereas NFA where NFA means I know my goal but don't know how to reach the goal. That case there may be some non-deterministic numbers of steps uh, to reach the goal. So, there, um, there may be several answers to the same problem, uh, several number of steps to the same problem. That case what I will do that we will use the number of steps which requires minimum uh, will be taken as the um, uh, answer to that particular problem. So, uh, for a particular problem both DFA and NFA both are possible and another important aspect is that DFA and NFA both are same powerful. One uh, where the number of state is not specified, another the number of state is defined. Now, for an, a particular problem NFA and DFA both can be possible and uh, there may be multiple numbers of NFA, but there will be at least one DFA. And on the other hand we can say that DFA is a subset of NFA itself. Now let us show uh, how the DFA deterministic finite acceptor or NFA or rather uh, uh, on general aspects uh, what we can say that how an automata can be represented. Automata will be represented in the form of a state diagram. So what is state diagram? state diagram or transition diagram. State diagram or transition diagram. Now, state diagram means which shows you how your states are being changed from one state to another state after taking an input, after giving an input to that particular machine. Before taking that input the machine may be in the state Q0 and after taking the input machine is changing its state to Q1. That means this A is helping to change the state of the machine from Q0 to Q1. So, this is basically a state diagram or in the form of a functions if I want to write this I can write it as delta q0 a is q1. Delta is a transition function which is applied on q0 state after giving an input it is changing a state to q1. Now, suppose I am giving another example I am I am using another state diagram that is q0 when it is taking an input within itself it is changing uh, the state within itself when it is taking an input sorry it is 0 when it is taking an input 1 it is going to another state that is Qf 
and in QF if I give 0 and 1 it will remain in the same state means that a machine which is in the initial state always now onwards will represent Q0 as the initial state. and q f as the final state. Now, suppose mesh, okay, q 0 if I give an input 0 it will remain in the same state that is why it is showing an inner loop showing it is uh, through an inner loop and in that case inner, inner loop 0 means that it can take a 1 0 it can take more than 1 0 multiple numbers of 0 or it may not take any 0 this meaning. Okay. Now, after taking a 1 it reaches the final state and final state will be represented by the double circle and initial state always uh, in the initial state there will be an arrow at the left hand side. Now, after getting a 1 it reaches to the final state and at the final state whether you are giving 0 or 1 multiple numbers of 0 or multiple numbers of 1 it will remain in the same state. Now, if I convert this automata in the form of a transition function, how to write this one? So, I have the state, how many states I have? Q0 and the state is Qf, right? Now, at Q0, if I give 0, it remains in Q0, right? And at Q0, if I give 1, it goes to Qf. And at Qf, if I give 0, it remains in Qf at q f if I give 1 it remains in q f. So, these are the number of possible transition for a particular number of states that is q 0 and q f. Now, look at this one uh, thing that how many numbers of states I have? I have the q 0 and q f 2 states are there and how many inputs I have 0 and 1. Now, I am checking in this case that what will happen if I give 0 to q 0, what will happen if I give 1 to q 1 sorry q 0 and uh, what will happen if I give 0 to q f and what will happen if I give 1 to q f all the possible combinations I am checking and which are represented by these 4 transition functions. Now, for 2 input uh, and uh, 2 input and 2 states there will be 4 possible combinations and whatever output I am getting, what are the output I am getting either q 0, q f, q f and q f. So, this must be uh, the subset of q if I consider q as a set of internal states q 0 and q f, it is a set of internal states. So, that must be a part of q. So, this should be the definition of a transition function. This is the definition of a transition function. In short, if I want to write, I can write it as q transition function means delta means that it uh, q cross sigma. Sigma is the number of elements. Here, the number of elements are 0 and 1. So, q cross sigma, I am getting q only. So, if you write the definition of transition function like this, it is sufficient enough. Now, what should be the definition of a DFA then? The definition of a DFA is a deterministic finite automata or a DFA is defined by quantuple one tuple means five tuple. What are the five tuples? These are q, sigma, delta, q0 and qf. What is q? q is q here is the number of internal states, set of internal states. Actually it should be it should be it should be set of internal states sigma input alphabet delta already we have discussed delta that is transition function q 0 is the 
initial state qf is the final state. Now, if I consider the previous problem, previous uh, transition diagram that we have drawn, I am drawing it again. So, what should be the value of q here? My value of q will be number of internal states. What are my number of internal state? q0 and qf. Sigma, what is sigma? input alphabet right my input alphabets are 0 and 1 what is delta delta already we have discussed q cross sigma to q and what is q0 q0 is basically q0 here and what is qf qf is also qf here so this is my definition of dfa now, let us see some more example. Suppose one machine is given to me, total number of internal states are q0, q1, q2, input alphabets are this delta is the transition function q0 is the initial state and q1 is the final state now they are they have written the transition function quite like this q0 0 it is q0 q1 0 q0 q 2 0, q 2, q 0 1, q 1, q 1 1, q 2, q 2 1, q 1. Now, based on this transition function, how to draw the diagram? Now, I know that my initial states are q 0, right? Now, at q 0, if I give 0, where it is going? q 0. Now, try to draw this by seeing this one. Now, my initial state is q0. Now, look at this. If I give 0 at q0, it is going to q0. If I give 1 at q0, it is going to q1. Now, at q1, if I give 0, it is going coming back to q0. Sorry, it's 0. If I give 1 at q1, it is going to q2. Now, at q2, if I give 0, it remains in q2. If I give 1, it is coming back to q1. Now, what is my final state? My final state is written as q1. So, it should be my final state. So, if the transition function is given to me, I can easily draw the DFA or the transition diagram. Now, you will be given one language from that language you have to convert the grammar as well as the DFA. So, that is the language grammar equivalence, language grammar and automata equivalence, language grammar and automata equivalence. Means, if you have been given one language, you can convert it to the uh, equivalent grammar. If you have been given a grammar, you can con uh, convert it to equivalent automata and the vice versa also. Now, suppose one language is given to you a and b n greater than equal to 0. Now, what should be its equivalent transition diagram? So, first of all try to understand uh, that what is the requirement? Requirement is that the machine can take n number of a 
what is the minimum value of n that is 0 and what is the maximum value of n that is infinity. So, if the machine can take n number of a the machine will remain in the same state. Now, if the machine takes a b it changes its state to final state. Now, at final state it is not mentioned what will happen uh, to that machine if I give 0 or 1. Here is also told that n number of a it can take and after that if it takes a single b it will goes to the final state. Now, after final state as nothing is specified if I give a or b the machine will goes to a state which is not desirable for that machine means the machine will get hanged the machine will get in a trap state and in the trap state which will be represented by q t if you give 0 or sorry uh, the input is a and b if you give a or b it will remain in the same state until and unless you reset the machine until and unless um, you um, in, in our machine also computer also the machine remains in the whole state. So, what we do basically until and unless you uh, press uh, control or del the machine will not come back to its pre previous position. So, it also remains in the same state because it is not specified uh, what will happen if I give a and b. Then what is the use? Um, why should I give a and b then? Because as it is the DFA, the primal rule uh, to construct a DFA is that you have to give all possible inputs that is specified within your alphabet. Within your my alphabet, it is specified that the inputs are a and b. So, you have to check at q 0 what will happen if I give a what will happen if I give b at q f also I have to check what will happen if I give a and what will happen if I give b. Now, what should be its grammar? What should be the rule? This is uh, actually DFA specifies me how the machine should behave. DFA specifies how my machine how my machine behaves and my grammar tells me how to construct the machine. Grammar tells me the set of rules to construct that particular machine. Now, to grammar for a grammar first of all we have to uh, as already we have discussed we have to uh, design that um, uh, production rules. Now, we have to make a trans transition uh, we have to make one replacement and in each replacement I should get this, uh, the, the, this type of string. So, if I take uh, initial state as s and s is replaced every time with a s and s is stopped with b then look at this how it works that s I am replacing it with a s and now this s will be replaced again with a s then I am getting a s again this s is if I replace then I am getting triple a s. So, every time I am getting n number of a now if I want to stop that s I can replace this one with b triple a b which is a part of a and b. So, I can represent my language with that particular grammar also. So, we find out that if a language is given to me how to construct the DFA and if a DFA is given to me how to construct its equivalent grammar. Let us see some more example and sometimes it is uh, these types of problems may also given to you that a transition function is given to you and you have to find out the corresponding language also. Suppose, I am taking one example L g a omega a where omega belongs to sigma a comma b whole star. Now, omega belongs to a comma b whole star means it may be any combinations of a or b. any combinations of a comma b that means uh, including lambda also because it is a star closer this is called a star closer this is a star closer. Now, omega may be lambda omega may be a single a omega may be a b omega may be a b omega may be b a omega may be a b a b it may be anything. 
okay so how to create this one so let us consider step by step i am writing this a omega a over here and considering all the possible combinations of omega now consider the initial case that omega may be lambda if omega is lambda that case our uh, my initial state is q0 and after taking consecutive 2a it will reach to the final state right q0 when it gets 1a it is going to q1 and q1 if it gets another a it will goes to final state so as per when omega equal to lambda and uh, at q0 as it is a dfa i have to check that what will happen if i give b so at q0 b is not desirable if i give initially b then i am not going to get a omega a and never um, uh, never ever so what I, I will do that if it gets b then it will goes to trap state directly and a trap state whether you are giving a or b the machine will not return back machine will remain in the same state until and unless you reset that machine now consider this one this case if omega is a a that means multiple numbers of a's are coming that means uh, if omega is a a the string will be a a a a a this a a is omega part of omega now how to get this one so when the machine gets consecutively two a the machine will think that that there is omega is lambda and it will return back, uh, goes to the final state and after final state whatever a is coming that will remain within the final state that means if four a is coming for the first two a it reaches the final state and after that whatever a it is coming it will remain within the final state clear now what will happen if it gets omega equal to bb that means my string will be a b b a that case when it gets an a it comes to q1 and when it gets multiple number of b that it will create one inner loop multiple number of b will come into this inner loop and when it gets an a then it will goes to final state now consider this case when omega is a b that means it will become a a b a now in that case also when consecutively 2a is coming it is going to the final state and after that when a b is coming the machine will assume that whatever i assume that the last a is a part of qf it is not like that as because i need a at the last uh, at the end so whatever b is coming it will immediately return back to q1 with the notion that until and unless i am getting a b a so i will not uh, uh, return back from q1 so in between this a b if it gets multiple number of b that case in q1 all the b will be within this uh, inner loop now if it uh, comes b a again for the omega it the solution will be quite the same like this that means that omega is b a and it is starting with a and ending with a so this can also be solved with the same uh, transition diagram means that it is getting an a comes to q1 it is getting an after that a b that case it will remain within q1 when it gets an a it comes to qf and and uh, at qf whenever it is getting a a it will remain in qf and now check that whether all the states has consumed all the input alphabets or not q0 it has already consumed a and b q1 it has consumed b and a qf it has consumed a and b so this is my complete dfa for a omega a i hope uh, you understood this one now another thing also another important concept is that if a language that uh, can be, uh, that is accepted by a dfa that means for a language if i can construct a dfa that case i can say blindly that language is a regular language this language is a regular language language is a regular language now this one is a this one we can say it's a regular language now union of two regular language is also a regular language means that if lg is a language which is a regular lg union lg is also a regular language lg concatenation lg is also a regular language 
we can prove the, uh, this um, uh, uh, with the same problem because uh, we have already told that L j equal to a omega a right where omega where omega belongs to a comma b whole star. Now, another L g will be same thing better we, if we say that this one is L 1 g this one is L 2 g that case it will be omega 1 and this will be omega 2 because the contents of omega may be different in both the cases. Okay. Now, as per our concept that L g which is an union a concatenation L 1 g and L 2 g is also a belongs to R L that is regular language means that L 1 g is a omega 1 a and its concatenation is a omega 2 a where omega 1 belongs to omega 2 the part of this language means that after concatenation we are getting what a omega 1 a a omega 2 a. So, if I can construct a DFA for this one then I can prove that the concatenation of L 1 g and L 2 g is also a regular language. Now, let us see this one. So, L g equal to a omega 1 a a omega 2 a where omega 1 omega 2 comes to sigma. Now, try as we have seen the a omega a how uh, the DFA can be drawn already we have seen this one right. We have seen that q 0 if I get an a q 1 if it gets b it goes to q t at q t it will be a b if it gets another a it will goes to q 2 and at q 2 if it gets a b then it returns back to a that is for a omega 1 a. Now, a omega 2 a will also be the same thing that if I write it as q 3 if I give a it goes to q 4 at q 4 if I give b it remains in q 4 if I give a it goes to q 5 at q 5 if I give b it returns back to q 4 and at q 5 if I give oh sorry here also there will be another a hmm? at q 5 if I give a it will be within the same state right and at q 3 if I give b sorry at q 3 if I give b it will be in the trapping state right both are same. I have just written this one is for a omega 1 a and I have written this one is for a omega 2 a. Now, as I am concatenating the two string two languages why not I concatenate why should not I should concatenate this two DFA also I will get the same thing. How I am concaten concatenate this one just remove this arrow just remove this inner loop and connect connect this one sorry connect this one with a you will get the entire string for a you will get the entire string for a omega 1 a a omega 2 a. How to prove this one? Let us see if for the minimum condition what should be my omega value in the minimum condition my omega is this omega 1 is lambda omega 2 is lambda that means if i gave continuous get continuously 4a i should reach the final state look at this one if i get continuously 4a without any b it is reaching to the final state now consider the next condition that means omega 1 and omega 2 are both are omega 1 and omega 2 both are a a a a like this that means 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 a's are there it may be millions of a. So, whatever be the number of a the machine what it will think that first 4 a is a part of this a and it will reach the final state and after that 
whatever infinite numbers of a comes it will remain in this final state and this should be the final state not this one right now consider the next one that means omega 1 and omega 2 is a part of b that means omega 1 is bb omega 2 is bb that means when it is getting an a it comes to q1 sorry i have missed one state that is at q1 if it gets b it will remain in the same state now when it gets another 2a it comes to q3 and after that at q, uh, sorry when it gets um, actually uh, actually these steps should not be there this step should not be there uh, it should be connected here at only it should be connected here only here only and uh, this one sorry for the mistake so it should be connected here only. So, if it gets an A, it comes to Q1 and after that if it gets any number of B, it will remain in Q1 and after that when it gets 2A, it goes to when it gets 2A, it goes to Q4 and at Q4, it, if it takes any number of B, it will remain in Q4 and after that when it gets the last A, it will remain in Q5. Similarly, if you check it for B A B A also for B A B A a b a b we have checked it, uh, b b we have checked it, a a we have checked it. Now, if we checked it for b a that means a it comes to q 1 then b it remains in q 1 then how many number of a 3 a. So, 1 2 then 3 a it comes. Now, when it gets a b then it returns back to q 4 and then after 2 a it will return back to q 5. So, you can check any number of combinations that satisfies this language a omega 1 a a omega 2 a it will comes to this answers only. So, in the next class we will come up with some more problem.